What's going on guys, Christian here and welcome to another video. Uh, thank you so much guys, first of all, because we have almost at 2 million followers. So I do appreciate all the support that we got on this channel. And um, today I'm going to show you how to unlock your iPhone. We're going to cover everything that you need to know to unlock your iPhone. I've been unlocking iPhones for many, many years. This is the best and the only way to do it from home yourself using your iPhone. So with that said, we are going to proceed. There are two types of locks. First one is the passcode lock and then is the carrier lock. For this video, we are going to start first with a passcode lock. But if you're interested only on the carrier unlock, please go ahead and proceed to this minute because that's where we start with a carrier unlock. So the passcode lock is if your phone is disabled or you lost the passcode. Uh, I'm going to show you how to unlock the passcode. We are going to do a full factory reset. Now, before proceeding, I have to mention a couple of things. The first point is that your phone will be fully wiped. The data will be deleted. That means if you have photos, um, pictures, uh, text, emails, anything that you have stored in this iPhone, it will be fully deleted unless you have a backup somewhere on the cloud or on your computer. So if you have a backup, then you can put it back again after your phone has been fully restored. Otherwise, all that information is going to be lost. And the second point is that your phone must not be locked to an iCloud account. If your phone is locked to an iCloud account, you will need the password and the email of that account. So if you are the original owner, you won't have any issues. You will be able to go through. But if your phone is not yours or it belongs to somebody else, you will need to access that email and that password in order to fully unlock the iCloud of your phone. All right. So with that said, we are ready to start. The first thing you're going to need is your computer. It can be Windows or Mac. It doesn't really matter. You will need a cable, the lightning cable to connect your iPhone to your computer. And you will need the latest version of iTunes. I'm going to include a link in the description down below where you can download and install the latest version of iTunes. So make sure iTunes is running on a computer. Your iPhone is connected and we're going to press the following command. We are going to enter recovery mode. And for this exact phone, I'm going to show you how to enter recovery mode. Keep in mind that this may vary depending on your phone's um, model. So if it, this is an iPhone 12, it might be slightly different for other models. Uh, so I would suggest you Google it and find a way to enter recovery mode on your specific iPhone model. If you have an iPhone 12, this is how you enter recovery mode. You have to press the volume up key, volume down key and power on key and keep holding the power on key for 10 to 15 seconds until the phone is fully off. Keep holding it. Don't let go. And if you did everything successfully, you're going to see a screen on your phone that confirms that your iPhone was set successfully into recovery mode. And now you have to connect it to your computer. Um, so that means that you successfully enter recovery mode. This can take a couple of attempts, so make sure you try it again if it doesn't work in the first time. So if you did it correctly, iTunes will display a message that your iPhone has been detected as recovery mode. And in order to use your iPhone, we need to do a full factory restore in order to access the phone again and restart it to the original factory settings. So we're going to restore and update the iPhone to factory settings and it's going to take a few minutes. So I'm going to be back once this process is completed. Keep in mind that this might take a few minutes and up to a few hours, depending on your internet connection. So I'm going to fast forward and I'm going to be back once this is completed. By the way, if your iPhone is locked to an iCloud account, here's where you're going to have issues. Your phone will restore successfully, but you will be required to enter the password of that iCloud account. So if you're the original owner, you should be able to access the phone right away. If you are not the original owner and for some reason you have forgotten the original password or the email, I'm going to link some articles in the description of this video that explain how to solve that issue. But uh, I'm not going to get too much into details into this video because it's a little bit risky. As you can see here, my phone has been fully restored. Now I am able to set up the initial setup of the iPhone to do everything as the phone was completely new. So it's going to take a few minutes. And once I have filled in everything successfully, boom, the phone has been now fully unlocked and now I am able to use my phone again. And now we have full access to this iPhone. All right. So now we're going to talk about the carrier unlock. The carrier unlock will allow you to use your iPhone with any carrier. If you travel, if you want to see switch providers, or if you want to use your phone with any other different SIM card, uh, this method will help you get your phone unlocked to be compatible with any GSM SIM card anywhere in the world. This is 100% legal. Your phone will not be damaged in any way. It is in fact very positive and beneficial for the iPhone to be fully network unlocked. Uh, because your phone's resource value will increase because your phone will be compatible with any other carrier worldwide. I have unlocked more than 100 iPhones using this method. And trust me, guys, it is the best and most reliable way to unlock your iPhone. However, there are a few things that you need to know before starting. The first thing is that if your phone is reported as lost or stolen or is blacklisted through your provider, 
this method will not work and we will not be able to unlock your iPhone. And the second point is that this is not a free method, so it's gonna be paid, but it's reliable. As I said before, I've used it many times and this is the best way, in my opinion, to get your phone unlocked. So we're gonna begin. The first thing you have to get is your phone's IMEI number. The phone's IMEI number is located in the back box or in the SIM card tray, or you can get it by dialing star hash zero six hash. And as you will see, the 15 digit number of your iPhone will pop up in the screen. And this is probably the most important step of the whole unlocking procedure. Make sure you have this number somewhere close because we will need it in a few seconds. All right, guys, so next step is to go to the website unlockriver.com. In this website, we will unlock this iPhone. We will request the remote unlocking of this phone. So first off, we're going to start by selecting the original carrier in which your iPhone is locked to. In my case, I bought my iPhone at at and on the United States. So I'll select that one. And then you have to select the brand. We're going to be unlocking an Apple phone right now. The next step is to select your model. So make sure you select your exact model. Again, this will work for any iPhone model, iPhone 11, 12, 10s, whichever iPhone you have. Um, so just go ahead and select it here. And then you have to insert your IMEI number. That's the number we got at the beginning of the video. So we're just gonna go ahead, insert it here. And then you have to insert your email. I'm just gonna insert my email really quick. Here's where I'm gonna get the notification once my iPhone has been successfully unlocked. The next step is to write down your personal phone number. And this is just in case you want to receive updates about your order uh, or if they have any questions, they might reach out to you. And if you scroll down, you're going to see the price to unlock your phone. This price will always vary depending on your phone's brand, carrier and model. And um, the delivery time will always be changing. OK, so this is one to 15 business days. This does not include weekends. So just keep that in mind. We're going to proceed by hitting unlock now. On the following page, you're going to see a summary of your order. Just double check everything here. Um, there is important information that you need to know before unlocking your phone. So I would recommend that you go through this page and just read everything here. As I said before, I have unlocked more than 100 iPhones using this method. It works perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead and complete my order by placing my payment details and completing my order. I'm going to be back once this is completed. So once you have completed your order, you will have to wait until your iPhone gets unlocked. Now, this can be as fast as one day, but it can also take up to 15 business days. So keep that in mind. But here's the important thing. You're going to get an email notification saying that your iPhone has been successfully unlocked and you need to activate the unlock as quick as possible. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So as you can see here, I just got this email from Unlock River. It says order completed, iPhone successfully unlocked. We open it. And as you can see here, it says pretty much that it was a success. And now we need to do this as quick as possible. We need to activate the unlock by connecting it to the internet. We can use either Wi-Fi or iTunes. For this example, I'm going to use the iTunes method. So right away after receiving the email, we have to activate the unlock. The first thing we're going to do is to power off the iPhone and I'm going to insert a SIM card. It can be any other SIM card except from the original carrier. In this case, my phone is locked to AT&T. I'm going to use a SIM card from T-Mobile. So we're going to restart the iPhone and we can either connect it to Wi-Fi or connect it to iTunes using the USB cable. For this example, I'm going to use my lightning cable and I'm going to connect it to iTunes. And once you connect it to iTunes, you will get a message saying that your iPhone has been successfully unlocked. As you can see here, my new carrier is already identified by the phone and we are having full signal. The phone is running perfectly. And now I can use it with any carrier anywhere in the world. So that's all for today, guys. This is how you unlock any iPhone. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, just leave them on the comment section down below and I will try to answer them as quick as possible. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.